Hi guys, how you Hi doing? Guys. So we're ready to cook this stupendous rockinara veganara. Pasta. Pasta. So it's an amazing plate from the traditional Italian cooking that we made in a vegan version, but on plant-based version. So we are ready to go into the kitchen. Come with us. Come. So let's come, go. Come, come, come. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Super rocking pasta. It's uh, the vegan version of pasta alla carbonara that we are called. We have called the veganara, and it's uh, a very traditional uh, plate from the Italian cooking. And the name, it's uh, the translation is like uh, the pasta at the fashion of the charcoal maker. So oh. original. <laughs> Carbon. Yeah. Carbon. Yeah. yeah. The carbonara. Yes. Okay, that's very much like you would say in Indian that Ada is the person that makes something. Yeah. Or like Wala. Chai Wala would be tea Wala. Okay, okay so it's so a carbon maker. Car yeah, pasta. Car carbon Ada. Today we prepared our ingredients all together here, so it's gonna be quicker for, for you to follow us. So we have the zucchini that we got from, from our, our garden. garden. And so we have some uh, smoked tofu. Uh, we have uh, some spaghetti I'm using like uh, this one are uh, organic with uh, uh, buckwheat but you can do whatever spaghetti you like. We have uh, two shallots here, uh, some cornstarch and I have turmeric, uh, paprika and paprika. Uh, some black pepper and uh, some milk, like vegetable milk. I'm using soy milk today because it gives more creaminess and some vegan uh, parmesan and of course olive oil so the first thing we do put on your water. water now so no salt until the water boils and at this point while the water gets ready we start to prepare the sauce and so you are gonna do this you're gonna do the shallot my job no. she calls me her food processor sometimes so when i do this i have to make the z sound. So I'm taking off this end and this end, okay? Chop in half, and I'm just gonna take the little leaves away. Yeah. So we have small pieces there, you can see. Very, very small. Okay, first of all, we need to put some oil into the pan. So I'm gonna use like a good glug as uh, to, I'm stealing some uh, English uh, expressions from my husband. A and glug. So this is a glug. I'm gonna switch the flame, not too high. I just want to say something. So um, we are using smoked paprika, not sweet paprika today, because uh, in this plate we need uh, to have uh, like a kind of smoky taste. To keep that uh, taste of the charcoal. We are, a, we are a mixed couple and uh, he's English, I am Italian English. and English is the language that we that normally we speak. Yeah. Yeah, Actually speak. my background is uh, my grandparents are from India, mm -hmm. I was born in East Africa, I was brought up in England and now I'm living in Italy with, my, moment, and my, uh, with my wife. Yes. Okay. So I was born in Italy and I've always been living in Italy. But um, I don't know, I have always been attracted by other countries and you see, I've married an Englishman. An Englishman. An Indian Englishman. <laughs> now, this is warm and we're gonna put some, uh, this uh, shallot, uh, shallot. Yeah, please. Start to cook. And in the meantime, we're gonna prepare the zucchini. We have two qualities of zucchini in our garden. We're gonna mix them for doing our plate today. So I wash them and then, we're gonna cut them. You want those into little, little squares. My shallot is uh, practically ready. We're gonna soon put the zucchini. I'm gonna put some salt <laughs> into my zucchini. Now the zucchini are on, we are gonna cut the tofu. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut uh, a big piece of tofu 
A part of it is gonna go inside the pan with the zucchini and a little piece we're gonna do separately in another pan to make like a kind of crunchy bit who's gonna be really nice on top once you are you have uh, at the end of the preparation of your plate. I've got my tofu and what I did is I just cut it in half like this. So I've got two, two parts, okay? I'm gonna take away this part here. This is going to be for the crispy part, is that enough? Yeah. It, yeah? And now I'm going to make little dices, well, battens first, to make little squares. Crispy tofu. Yeah. Crispy spice. And tofu. here too I put a very, very, very little quantity of oil, is a little plug. So I'm stirring the zucchini. It won't take long for them to cook. I've just made really, really thin slices and this one I'm going to make as small as I can. Maybe as small as a shallot, okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to go really, really, really fine with this. Straight in the pan? Yeah. Perfect. So I'm just stirring this, uh, putting a little bit of salt in it. Not much. While this is cooking, I can add the rest of the tofu with the, the zucchini. I know it looks like a big amount of vegetables, but uh, you're gonna see that after, at the end, it's gonna, it's it's gonna make sense. Yeah. This is a complete plate, because you have carbs, you have vegetables, you have the proteins, so it's something that I, after this, I, I don't think you want to have something different or something more. So maybe you can serve this with a fresh salad, for example, and it's going to be a full, complete meal. I'm just adding a little bit of extra oil into the crispy part to get them crispy. While this is cooking, I'm going to prepare the salsa that I'm going to use to season uh, uh, to help uh, seasoning the spaghetti. I'm gonna get a pan, but we're not gonna cook it. I'm using this just because it's comfortable for me to use. So I'm gonna get cornstarch. You practice my Italian, cucchiaio. The cucchiaio. Cucchiaio. So I have this spoon. I'm gonna use uh, one spoon of this, maybe a little bit more, not too much, because otherwise once you heat it, it's gonna glue up the spaghetti too much. I need uh, some uh, turmeric. It's like... Uh, that would be probably about a, half, a, a third uh, a, a teaspoon. A third is, uh, teaspoon. Third teaspoon. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, some of the smoky paprika. I use a little bit more smoky paprika because I, I really want to take out more the uh, smokiness. Almost uh, a full uh, coffee okay. spoon. I use the same spoon to put uh, some olive oil. And uh, I start to mix this meat like this. And when it gets uh, very thick, you can start to add some of the milk. So you see, it's pretty liquid, it has to be like that. I prepared to the side already some water, a glass more or less, to help you not having the pasta to stick together too much. Because sometimes so, this is ready and it's just the for the final seasoning, so I put it here in the moment. But when the water is boiling, then you add the salt. Let's say a spoon for a big, big, big pan of water like that. We are counting like 70 grams of pasta per person. So I'm gonna use this, let's say. And our crispy bits now, I just wanna show you, our crispy bits are getting really crispy. They will start to pop if you're using tofu, it means the water's coming out. But it's really, really starting to get crispy now. I'm gonna stir my spaghetti because otherwise they might stick to each other. So I'm still stirring my zucchini. So we let this cook, it, sm it smells really, really nice and smoky. I really like it. Mm. Mm. Very easy to try. Water, water. 
I would add a little bit of salt more. I want to try this one, the crispy bits wow. that you made. Mm. 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 It's very nice. We are going into <laughs> very much comfort food here. I doubt. I doubt. But if you want to convince you to go more plant based, we have to give you something really nice and tasty. So, so. one of the main things about um, having a food which you're not used to eating, um, for example, plant based food, and you think, and you're normally a meat eater. It's feeling, it's having that satisfaction at the end of the meal. And trust me, at the end of this meal, as Ginty said earlier, you'll be totally satisfied. It's got everything in it. And it's just like, yes. So now what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna put some black pepper here too, but we're gonna use some at the finishing touch. Yeah. Because it's gonna drain all of this onto the roll here. So I'm, I like to turn my frying pan one way and then make it go the other way so we don't actually pick up any of the oil yeah so i'm putting the frying pan up so the oil is draining down and i'm picking up all the stuff there i try i taste this to see if the taste is what i want It's nice, I think I would add some more black pepper. So I just want to say, with your pasta, although we've put the timer on, there's about 40 seconds to go, but I'm going to check the pasta. Always check it a bit earlier. I have learnt because to check whether it's cooked or not. That's cooked. Here we go. Now. I switch this off. Start to turn the pasta into the pan. I get my sauce that I prepared, which is cold. I didn't cook it. And I start to pour this. And I really have to turn it now. Because with the heat, it's gonna start to glue together and uh, I need the water now I have the water ready and I take this away from the fire so we have to add some water I because otherwise it. it's too sticky vegan parmesan I do it directly from the from the bag and I sprinkle on top of it this is my pasta and finally the crispy bits. The crispy tofu bits. I'm gonna let her go first and then I'm gonna come in. Mm. 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 Wow. Put up your pictures. Show yes. us what you've, what you've done. Let us know what you've done. Give us a feedback, okay? Um, on this super dish uh, of Chintzias. Um, look forward. So we now have, go onto YouTube, the Decu's uh, Tribe page. Yeah, videos are gonna be up there. Instagram, Cook with Asif and Chintzia. Go on there. Check our, our Facebook pages as well, yeah? So everything there, subscribe, like, share. Yeah. As much as you can, please, we need your help. Yes, All right, we guys? need your support, please. Take so care. I'm gonna have a little bit more, I can't resist it. She can't so. resist it. I can't resist it. But take okay. care. Thanks a lot for joining us and look forward to seeing you next week, okay? Bye. Ciao, ciao everyone.